We want to get right to new developments in the investigation in Dallas. First, law enforcement says it is confident the gunman who is dead acted alone. The police searched the home of 25-year-old Micah Johnson and say they found bomb-making materials in there. And police say during negotiations with him, he threatened not only to shoot officers, but also claimed he had planted bombs in downtown Dallas. And search teams never found such explosives. And today, police also stood behind an unprecedented decision to use a bomb to kill the suspect during a standoff. They say there was no other option because police were in grave danger. We also have new video to show you as the ambush of police began. Dude, that's a cop down. Dude, that's a cop down. Yeah. It's a sniper from up here somewhere. It's a sniper? These men witnessing the violence from a parking garage, and they took cover once they realized the gravity of the situation. As for the shooter himself, he was an Army reservist until April of last year, served one tour in Afghanistan, and had no previous criminal record. He told investigators he wanted to kill white people and white police officers in particular. And Governor John Hickenlooper ordered flags lowered to half staff here in honor of the officers killed in Dallas. Flags also at the White House lowered. President Obama said flags should remain at half staff until sunset Tuesday.